Stuart Rose sentencing rant unwittingly exposed deeply rift among right wingers. Extremism expert says, "Oh boy, let's get it." This man got 18 years. The leader of the pro- no, no, he was the Oath Keepers leader, not, not, not the freaking Proud Boys. But his mama is actually uh, Hispanic. So see, most of these people who are the leaders of these right wing organizations, they ain't white no more. I gotta tell you. Just gotta be, I, I gotta keep it a buck. It, it, it exposed a deepening rift among right wingers. According to extremism expert Juliet KM, during Oath Keeper head Stuart Rose's rant before he was sentenced to 18 years in prison on sedition charges, he threw fellow right wing extremists under the bus. As she notes, Rose's rage, rage filled diatribe and defense of his actions leading up to, to the January 6th insurrection reveal a growing schism among extremist groups. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> this is about to get good. In her column for The Atlantic, she wrote, Rose also unwittingly revealed deeply fissures in the far right movement that two years ago resorted to violence to keep Donald Trump in the White House. The defendant used some of his time to distance himself from the Proud Boys, another extremist organization with whom he had met in the days before the insurrection. He pretty much threw the Proud Boys under the bus, which means the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers, they pretty much aren't going to be friends. With this attack on the Proud Boys, she wrote, Rose was announcing to the world, I've been misunderstood. The Proud Boys are the ones you want. Oh no. He said, he said, it's that man, Enrique Tario. Enrique. He said, Enrique Tario. He the one you want. Oh man, Stephen Rose, the leader of the Oath Keepers. He just threw the Proud Boys under the bus. Yo, they beefing. I, I, I love to hear it though. I love to hear it. As Kayim explained, the growing mistrust between far right groups is a bonus for Americans. Steven, what did you do, buddy? Did you just call a, call a riff in the right wing? Writing that the riff appears to be deepening. And on January 6th, a variety of groups put aside their differences, but solidarity is difficult to sustain. As prosecutions continue and participants in the insurrection try to try to save themselves, divisions within the far right over ideology and strategy, as well as conflicts driven by pure ego, are reasserting themselves. Oh man. So the kids are just running them up, man. Without their leaders, the kids are just running them up. So your boy Stephen Rose from the Oath Keepers, he calls some infighting with the far right. Oh, I love to see it, man. It is beautiful. I love to see it. Because I, I know there are certain folks right now who are very upset with me for, for even saying that. How could you say that? So y'all, let me know. What do y'all think about, about this story, man? What do y'all think about Stephen Rose causing a, a deepening far right rift within the far right? What do y'all think about that story, man? Let me know.